Alrighty guys, this is Thugs on Blitz and I'm back with another video for you today. One of my subscribers has been sending me over a few replays and they are pretty dang good. So, got one in this tank today with the Kranwagen and I think you're going to like it. Will he be able to pull it out? You'll just have to wait and see. It's a good game regardless of whether he wins or loses. And I like those kind of games best where you're not sure who's going to pull it out. So, Let's not waste any time and jump right in. Okay, looking at the lineups. Well, they have a 50M on his on his team, an E4, a VK90, nice. They have a bat chat, okay. Two 183s, okay. A W2. I definitely give my buddy's team the edge, and that's because they've got three, basically, sniper tanks. Two 183s and the waffle. If my subscriber's team does not push over aggressively, they can be very ineffective in the battle. You don't often see them pushing hard and heavy because once they get lit up, they do tend to get wrecked pretty hard. So they tend to sit at the back and snipe. Of course, they can do great and they can do horrible. Let's find out which it is. The good news for the enemy team is my buddy's team, I think they have a 452, which is not the best tier nine tank. It's a little bit flat. It's got nothing really about it that stands out. It's one of the weaker tier 9 tanks, and it's a premium, so that's a shame for everybody who spent their hard-earned money or saved up gold. Okay, so we see two tanks here, three tanks. Ooh, okay, so everybody's split up, both teams, so it's going to be interesting. This guy's not even looking, which is lovely stuff. Unfortunately, he can't get his gun quite uh, there. He's able to move around. Nice shots in there. Two, can he get rid of him? Three shots in. Good stuff, and he didn't take a hit in return. Well, I mean, he did, but he didn't take any damage, so that's nice. Now he's just going to go for the reload. Yep, he did fire his third shell, uh, so it's going to be a bit of a issue here. And this guy is getting absolutely ripped apart. So, yeah, if he goes down, yeah, there goes one tank, and I figure this tank will be next. Uh, unfortunately, they decide to... Uh, Get the heck out of there, I guess. They don't want to deal with the crab. Couldn't quite thread the needle there. That's unfortunate. Ah, uh, two shots he missed. Personally, with the crab, I do think you should use that radical shrinker thing, whatever it's called. I forget. I barely use it, but on this tank, I think it is one uh, the tank that needs it because you want to make sure you get those three shells in because if you have to fire all three, you're going to be on a long reload. He's missed some... Bad shots here, which is unfortunate. Whoo! And wow, 5v3. So, pretty much everything has gone wrong for his team and himself, but he does have a lot of hit points, and he was able to take that guy out. And with any luck, oh my goodness me. So, some gimmies here that he's missed, unfortunately, and he's decided to push in. Okay. Now, it was a sneaky move, and it worked. Uh, my guess is the 183 doesn't really know what he's doing. Because <laughs> that was just, uh, well, dumb. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, uh, with any luck, yep, they were able to take him out. So, 2v3. Unfortunately, this guy doesn't have many hit points left. Whoo! He's got his work cut out for him. And he's only done 2,300 damage so far. So, nothing to write home about. You're probably thinking, well, Snugs, why did you include this game? Yeah, fair point. Well, I think you're going to find out as the game goes on. Let's see. So he's getting C, they're getting A. So we know where they are, at least one of them. I would expect pretty much all of them to be over there. This uh, 452 really should just hide. <laughs> he needs to hide. Um, the crab's got hit points. Uh, he needs to spot and have the focus come his way because if he loses the 452, it could be all over here. Unfortunately, yeah, that guy doesn't really know what he's doing. Yeah, he's gone. So, 2v2. Couldn't take out the 452. Put himself in a bad position. So, that's cost the enemy team. That's unfortunate. And now he's going for a reload. Two shells. He's waiting for that third shell. I, mean, I would. Can he get any shots in here? Okay, so there's one tank. There's the other tank. Okay. He's got this carcass here, which he can use, which will make him a tough... Uh, target for the E100. Unfortunately, he does take a hit, but uh, the E100 takes two hits in return, and now he's going for the reload. That's what you want to do with the craft. Two shots and a reload. Third shot, 
okay when you have the chance and you know you've got some protection, but yeah, otherwise be very careful about firing that third shot. To be honest, that was really a weird system when they first came out with it and I wasn't familiar with it, so I got in a lot of trouble early on. I kept on firing my third shell or by accident hitting the third shell and I was like, ah, so it was very frustrating. Anyway, um, he's got his work cut out for him. He's got to find those tanks. If they could get B cap, maybe they could put some pressure on the enemy team to get them out of their hunkered down spots. He's going to move slowly, expecting that E100 probably will be there. Aha! There's the 1A3. Okay, one shot. Oof! Dang it! Shame. Mm. 4,700 damage, though. He's doing a good job. And the, the uh, 452 is pushing in. Oh, we got away with that one. And now we know where the enemy team is. So he's going to swing around here. And, yep, this E100 is not the best player, if you ask me. Okay, so he's taking the... Oh, lovely bounce there. Boom, lovely shot through the roof. And there goes the 452. Ouch, that was painful. And the question is, should he fire this? 50-50, really. I don't know. I think he's going to get away with it, though. It looks like the E100 just was on a long reload, or I don't know what. I thought that took way too long for his reload. I mean, he still hasn't fired, so... Now comes the issue. They've got two bases. So, yeah, he's going to have to kill the FV. That's it. That's the only way he's going to win this game. He can't get the bases. Even if he gets B cap, um, I mean, the, one, the 183 will probably HEM from a distance. And so he'll be able to reset it. So his best move really here with 40 seconds, yeah, looking at 900, he's really got to kill him. Even if he stopped the base... Um, as I said, I don't think it would help him. They're too close. Um, and there he is. Okay, one shot coming in. Oh, two shots. Yes, come on, one more shot. One more shot. One more shot. He's got it. But as you notice, the timer ran out. Oh, my goodness me. 452. Had the 452 not done that and let him just work his magic on the E100, I think they could have pulled that out. But unfortunately, 6,828 was not enough. He did block 1,400 damage. Sorry, uh, 1,140 damage. But alas, it is a loss. But a great game nonetheless. So, yeah, VK. Oof. E50M. Oof. Yikes. So, you're going to have those games. They're heartbreaking. But still impressive. He almost had it. That base cap was the issue. <sighs> Anyway, that's all I got for you. I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs on Blitz.